Frank Dunn has his green on. I got a little green in my tie. I guess that counts. Uh, Looks boy, good. I, I cannot believe it has already been a year. Frank Dunn, parade committee member for the uh, Hilton Head St. Patrick's Day Parade. Welcome back. Uh, let's talk. Let's talk fun down on sure. Pope Avenue. Um, Thirty-six years. Thirty-six years. Unbelievable. Yep. Nineteen eighty-three. It all started. All right. Uh, every year the parade is fairly similar. The uh, Grand Marshal is always different. Who's our Grand Marshal this year? Well, this year we chose Mr. David Lauderdale of the Island Packet. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of him. Yes. He's the uh, senior editor and a columnist. Um, has been a reporter and the editorial page editor for a long time. He's been around for, well, he's since, at the Packet since 1977. Wow. Probably so, nobody, well, so he remembers the first one. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and nobody probably can tell more stories about uh, St. Patrick's Days and all the other days of the year than well, David. Well, you're right. That, yeah. That's, that's um, a lot of why we, we selected him after all these years. Um, fortunately, he, he has, I've sat down and talked with him, and he's a big fan of the parade. He comes every year, so he knows all about it. But as you know, I, like I said, he started in 1977, so he's been over 40 years. And our parade is at 36 years. We've been part of the fabric of this community for almost 40 years. And you look at his work, it's like he's written a chronicle of life in the low country over that mm -hmm. same period. And so it just seemed to be a, a, a really nice natural fit at this point. And, and uh, from what I have read from him, and, and I'm sure in your discussions with him, it's not so much about St. Patrick's Day for him that, that mm -hmm. makes the day special. It's it's just an, an island gathering, isn't it? Well, that's that's something that you know I'd like to say. And, yeah. and um, you know, we use St. Patrick's Day as the vehicle, but it is really more about the island and and just getting together with your friends and family and neighbors and, and all of that and celebrating the community. There are um, construction projects on Pope Avenue this year. Uh, are yeah. they going to affect the parade at all? They'll present some challenges, but we're working closely <laughs> with. <laughs> with with the town and um, we'll be able to step around it. It's it's going to make foot traffic a little bit more challenging than usual, but it's not going to slow us down. Speaking of step around it, we got a lot of horses in this one? <laughs> um, none that I know of yet. Uh, okay. Because of timing, we couldn't get the, the big fellas from Budweiser this year, but we'll see. We've still got a few weeks to go. Yeah. How do folks enter and, and still volunteer and be a part of the of the parade itself? Um, yes, thank you for asking that sure. because we, um, we could always use some more volunteers you and bet. it's easy to do. You just go to our website, which is www.hiltonheadireland.org. Okay. And then there's one link says volunteers, another one says enter the parade. There you go. Hiltonheadireland.org or dot .com? Dot .org. Dot .org. Okay. Well, I got it right. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Frank. Uh, hey, this is going to be a fun one. Uh, David Lauderdale yep. throwing candy to the He's kids. He's real excited about it, and we're really excited to have him. Take care, Frank. Thanks for right. joining Thanks us. Thanks for having us again.